the Greenville Zoo is open. After more than a week using generators, the zoo now has power and is ready for visitors. We're excited to reopen and get going again. We were very, very fortunate that there were no animal health issues that arose either during the storm or in this past week, the animals have been monitored very closely by the keepers, which is standard routine anyway. Puzzle feeders here. Animals kept indoors for longer than normal periods were provided extra enrichment. And while no animals were hurt, 15 to 20 trees came down on the property. Parks and ground crews, zoo staff, and risk management work to clear out the debris to make it safe for the public. Our goal is to get open as fast as possible so that folks could come back in, put this behind them, kind of decompress, spend time with family, see the, see the park, see the animals, and get back to normalcy. There are some areas sectioned off for tree removal next week, like the Flamingo area, but there are plenty of other exhibits open and available for the public to enjoy. We had no issues with flood water and exhibits. All staff were safe. Um, it was a great response from the, uh, the city and our staff here on cleanup as well. While crews are still working to reopen the rest of Cleveland Park, guests will need to enter from Washington Street in order to access the zoo. I'm Haley Brown for the City of Greenville.